So Trump has the Russian ambassador and the foreign minister in, and he's gonna talk to Kislyak and Larov. And, and, and he's apparently going to tell them highly classified information. Oops, you're not supposed to do that. But of course, he's a clown and doesn't know any better. So the Washington Post was the first to break the story. Let's start with them. They explained President Trump revealed highly classified information to Russian foreign minister and ambassador in a White House meeting last week, according to current and former US officials, who said Trump's disclosures jeopardize a critical source of intelligence on the Islamic State. Now, understand why this is so important. First of all, of course, revealing classified information is important. Revealing it to the Russians is even more important. On ISIS, even more important, and especially in Syria, where the Russian interests are not the same as our interests. So they claim that they're fighting ISIS along with us, and they are opposed to ISIS. But on the other hand, they support the Assad government and many other fighters in the area that we do not support. So giving them that information could be terrible. Okay, so they explained further. The information the president relayed had been provided by a US partner through an intelligence sharing arrangement considered so sensitive that details have been withheld from allies and tightly restricted even within the US government, officials said. The problem is they had to share it with the president and the president's a dunce. So he's the least reliable, least trustworthy guy you could share that information with. We now find out that it is in fact the Israelis who had given us that information. And earlier they were concerned about giving information to Donald Trump because of exactly this type of situation. And remember the Russians are allied with Iran in Syria and Iran is in some ways the biggest enemy of Israel. So they're like, oh, you just gave our top secret information to the Russians who can share it with Iran. That's why we were afraid to give you information, because we were worried that the American president is a total and complete idiot, and they were proven right. The partner, they explained, in this case again, later reporting and revealed it was Israel, had not given the United States permission to share the material with Russia. An official said Trump's decision to do so endangers cooperation from an ally that has access to the inner workings of the Islamic State. Now, he apparently disclosed their operations in a certain city. Now, the Russians know about that, and Israel thinks, well, if I give you information and then you reveal you know, that information to others, then people could find out who my sources are and who I have inside the Islamic State and what kind of information I'm getting. <laughs> Disaster. So it's not that Israel isn't great allies with America, but they think if I share it with my ally, he's, he might share it with my enemy. So there goes our information from Israel, great job. The ally has repeatedly warned American officials that it would cut off access to such sensitive information if it were shared too widely. The former official said, in this case, the fear is that Russia will be able to determine exactly how the information was collected and could disrupt the allies espionage efforts. Okay, now, how serious was it? They explained, this is code word information, said a US official familiar with the matter, using terminology that refers to one of the highest classification levels used by American spy agencies. Trump revealed more information to the Russian ambassador than we have shared with our own allies. It's so secret, they have code words for it. And they were worried that Hillary Clinton had a private server. By the way, I was worried about that too, but that is not even 1% of what Trump did here. There's no information that anyone actually broke into that server, or the Russians or our enemies, or etc., and got any kind of information, let alone the most highly classified information. And Trump, instead of like, hey, did you store it in the right way? Did you follow all the regulations? Just comes out, goes, hey, Russians, you're in the Oval Office. Here's all our code word information, highly classified stuff. In the middle for about ISIS that Israel gave us. <sighs> More from Washington Post. For almost anyone in government discussing such matters with an adversary would be illegal. As President Trump has brought authority to declassify government secrets, making it unlikely that his disclosures broke the law. So later he will brag about that and cause himself more trouble because, again, too stupid to understand the ramifications of his actions. I'll get to that in a second. They further explain Russia could identify our sources or techniques, the senior official said. A former intelligence official who handled high level intelligence on Russia said that given the clues Trump provided, quote, I don't think that it would be that hard for Russian spy services to figure this out. So they already know the city, they already know that it's about laptops and, and on airplanes, and they know the mission that we think ISIS is gonna launch, but they could furthermore 
figure out who, it's potentially possible that they could figure out who our sources were or Israel sources were and then eliminate them. Okay, White House officials defended Trump. Uh, the story is false, said Dina Powell, Deputy National Security Advisor for Strategy. The president only discussed the common threats that both countries faced. But officials could not explain why staff members nevertheless felt it necessary to alert the CIA and the NSA. So what happened after the meeting is people in the room are like, "Oh no, he just told the Russians top secret information. We have to tell the CIA and NSA immediately. Later, Trump goes, go lie for me, go say it didn't happen. So Dina Powell comes out and says it didn't happen. They're like, okay, then why did you tell the CIA and the NSA in a panic that it did? <laughs> it doesn't matter, Trump's gonna tell them the truth later accidentally anyway. Never lie for Trump, he's gonna throw you under a bus. So a US official said, now we go to BuzzFeed. They added to the reporting, they say, quote, it's far worse than what has already been reported. Oh, damn, because what's been reported is already pretty bad. Okay, now we go back to the Washington Post, a former senior US official says, um, it is all kind of shocking. Trump seems to be very reckless and doesn't grasp the gravity of things he's dealing with, especially when it comes to intelligence and national security. I told you he's a child, he doesn't understand anything, and he's too lazy and incompetent to figure it out. Now we go back to BuzzFeed. This is an Israeli intelligence official. They say, we have an arrangement with America, which is unique to the world of intelligence sharing. To know that this intelligence is shared with others without our prior knowledge, that is for us, our worst fears confirmed. Okay, now uh, let's go to what part of what Donald Trump said in uh, in bragging to the Russians because he's a child. He's like, oh, I have toys. I have a lot of toys. I have. I want to. I want to brag about it. He said, I get great intel. I have people brief me on great intel every day. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Yet they know that, they're the Russians, they also have great intel. You're not supposed to brag and tell them what the intel is. And besides which, you're a freaking embarrassment, man. Who, who goes to the Russians and tries to impress them by saying things like, I get great intel. I, I have people brief me on great intel every day. Everybody knows that. You're the president of the United States. Everybody knows you get intelligence every day. But he, he's the only one who didn't know it. So he's like, did you know that they brief me every day? Yes, schmuck, we all knew that, okay. Uh, Bob Corker is asked about this, Republican in the Senate. He says, obviously, referring to the White House, they're in a downward spiral right now. And I've got to figure out a way to come to grips with all that's happening. Republicans starting to bail. Then he's got to have McMaster, who's um, the National Security Advisor, lie for him. This is not going to end well. Uh, McMaster says right after this uh, news broke, at no time, at no time were intelligence sources or methods discussed, and the president did, did not disclose any military operations that were not already publicly known. Uh, and then he went and doubled down and said, I was in the room, it didn't happen, okay? That's what McMaster says. Then, of course, here comes Trump with yet another bungle. Eve, after he had Dina Powell and McMaster and Spicer and everybody come out and say, it didn't happen, the story's false. He confirms it. Okay, Donald Trump tweets, of course, uh, as president, I wanted to share with Russia at an openly scheduled White House meeting, which I have absolute right to do, facts pertaining to terrorism and airline flight safety, humanitarian reasons, plus I want Russia to greatly step up their fight against ISIS and terrorism. Why did you have all your guys that go out there and say you didn't share that information? Then you turn around on Twitter and say, sure, I got a legal right to share it. I looked into it, because he just found out. His lawyers came in and said, well, as the president, you could declassify anything you want. You'd probably want to go through a better process than this and maybe check with a couple of people, including our allies, but you could legally do it. So of course, somebody told him that, so he goes on Twitter right away. He's like, okay, all right, where is it? Where's my Twitter machine? Aha, I shared with the Russians, but I had every right to do it. Well, schmuck, you just threw McMaster under the bus. You just told us he was lying and Dina Powell was lying. When they said you didn't share that information, he is historically stupid. Okay, now they got a new excuse they got to come out with today. So here comes Spicer with the new excuse. When you look at that story, um, 
it, it was imp it would be impossible for the president to reveal the source of the information because as General McMaster made very clear as he was leaving this podium, the president wasn't briefed on the information and wasn't aware of the source. So the president wasn't aware of this. This wasn't part of his briefing. So therefore, to suggest that therefore he revealed it is impossible. Now we all know that he revealed information. What they're saying now is, well, remember the president is such an idiot, he doesn't read his briefings. And this is true, they used to give four page summaries on issues. Like, hey, you're gonna talk to the Russians, you're gonna talk to the leader of Australia or Germany. Here's a four page briefing on what you should know. He refused to read them. They boil it down to one page and he demanded bullet points and graphs and maps. How do you fit all that on one page? Because he doesn't want to read, it bores him because he's a petulant child. So now there are new excuses. Now remember, the president's an idiot and doesn't read his briefings anyway. So he didn't know exactly who gave him that information and how he got it. He had the information and shared it with the Russians, but he didn't know where it came from. Oh yeah, yeah. McMaster has the same excuse. Watch. And I should just make I should just make maybe this the statement here that that the president wasn't even aware you know of where this information came from. He wasn't briefed on the source and method of the information either. I remember the president's an idiot. He doesn't know anything. He, I mean, he told him highly classified information, but he doesn't know where it came from because he doesn't read his briefings. Did that help? Final quote for you guys comes from Donald Trump. Um, he tweets, unbelievably. I have, this is not an old tweet, this is a recent tweet, just from today. I've been asking Director Comey and others from the beginning of my administration to find the leakers in the intelligence community. But dude, we found the leaker. It's you, <laughs> you just leaked to the Russians. So mission accomplished, you figured out who the leaker was. It's the first thing Donald Trump has done. The real resistance is fighting against Trump and the establishment. Help us get investigative reporters that are gonna investigate both of them. TYTnetwork.com slash go.